I'm here at Yes, Santa. Amanda! Yeah. Woo! That's me, the best Sam. Oh, whoa, 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 <laughs> top three. <laughs> top three for sure. Top three, who's two? Uh, I'm going G.O.T., girl. <laughs> I, you're two, you're two, you're two. I'm two, okay, that's fair. I can do with that. Um, I want to start. Gamgee, Sam wears Gamgee? All right, anyways. Yeah. I'm gonna start with Misha. Look, great, great, great. <laughs> Every hero needs a Sam, okay? You know, you've right. got, yeah, you got Frodo. Uh, you've got, Sam was uh, Andy. Uh, yeah, else? carry on. No, carry on. That's it. That's all I got. John Snow. Mm -hmm. He had a Sam. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, you're in good company, buddy. That means I'm not the hero in that story. You're the hero in our story. Samantha's oh. our heroes. Oh, okay. This is good. I'm glad we're talking so much about me. Um, <laughs> Misha, starting like, with you. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, do you even really react when you read a death in the script? Like, do you at all panic? Oh, yeah, I panic. Yeah? Yeah, I panic. Uh, if, if that <laughs> were to happen, I would. Legit, legit. Do legit. not touch me. I won't touch you. Don't touch me. I'm not going to touch you. You touch me. Look. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Um, I would panic. Um, <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> Every hero needs a um, mm -hmm. This is good quality material, Miss Gatos, really and, I, and I want to commend you. I've already got a headline. Um, <coughs> <laughs> Still so, assholes in both seasons. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, uh, I, would, I would panic if I read that in the script. I stopped reading the scripts in season six um, <laughs> <laughs> to save myself the pain, and it seems to be working in my favor. Sure. Yeah. I think I've died like uh, I don't know. I was trying five, to yeah, six I was trying times. to count it. Um, yeah. You definitely died the most. Yeah, but that's sort of like a loophole because style. of the whole Groundhog Day business. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I heard, I heard I died 118 times. That's what I've heard. That's the number. Yeah, I, heard. I think it's yeah. but like just in that episode, not total, right? No, like total. Oh, it's like 101 in that episode or something. Or something like that. that is gonna be tough to beat. I don't know. Yeah. Are you are you going for it? And Are I think we, it's also, there, there, there's an asterisk also, because we, we don't see him die all those times, but there's a reference made to how many months have passed, and uh, he's died every sure. day, so we've seen him die uh, so maybe 20 life. times or something. You know, there's the tacos, the dog, the piano, electric shaver. the electric shaver, the shower, um, mm. and then all the other deaths, the hellhounds. The, the three-way. The, the, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that, that was awful. It's my particular fave. So. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, so, but there was like the whole, it's been however many months, and every day he dies, so they put it together. And yeah. Are we going to see any side effects in season 13 from Cass's latest death? Um, is that how they're explaining the incontinence? <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that the, the video cameras will pick it up if you don't move your lips? <laughs> because you are, you are might. Yeah. <laughs> It's also radio. <laughs> so, is that how they explain the incontinence? Okay. Um, I think for, as far as side effects are concerned, Cass actually kind of seems like he comes back um, slowly. That might be a yeah. side effect of death. Mm. Very, very dead. Mm. Yeah. Very good. More dead than usual. More dead than usual. All right. I'll take yeah. it. Are we going to get all of Cass back, or are we just going to get kind of just a... Like Top half. A version of him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Krang. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That's Krang. a good question though. Are we gonna get all of Cass back? I think so. I think I think uh, I think we'll get I think we'll uh, let's uh, let's say we'll get most of him back. Okay. The most important parts. Okay. Both inches. <laughs> How's that gonna affect you as a I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was gonna say, no, I've been killing it. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they have a dead cast. They have a mom who's trapped in another world. They have Lucifer's baby. Where do you even start? Like, what's top priority? Kill the baby. Who's <laughs> more of a child? Which, yeah. Kill the child. Or more of a young... Gotta go. More of a young man now, and I think. And legitimately, that is kind of how Dean responds to it. Sort of like, listen, we don't know what this is yet, but we know that we don't get lucky. So this isn't like, oh, lucky us. We have Lucifer's Nephilim half-spring. Um, we have a new buddy to help. Like, this doesn't end well for us. And that's kind of where Dean starts the season. And Sam, ever the uh, the introspective, optimist. sort of like optimist, long-term kind of guy, 
It's like, well, like, well, let's wait. Like, he's also half human. Kelly was a good person, and she's also his mom. She, he spent more time with her because he obviously, Lucifer wasn't around. He was trying to track down Kelly. Um, and spent time with Cass. And so let's see. It's 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 an interesting. It's the nature versus nurture sort of argument and um, predicament, I suppose. Um, so we're certainly starting the season <clears throat> trying to kind of. It's uh, there's that great. Uh, adage no rest for the weary you know we've just lost so much but we have something else that we've never dealt with that we now have to deal with so we can't sit there and mourn the loss of mom that we don't know what's happened to mom we just know she's somewhere stuck with lucifer Mm -hmm. so we can put two and two together um but we don't know for sure we we've seen what's happened to crowley again it's supernatural and the the we we say this to guest stars guest stars all the time guest stars (laughs) guest stars guest stars guest elevators um the, the surest way to come back on Supernatural is to die. Mm-hmm. So, you know, we'll kill off a guest star that had a great time and be like, don't worry, you're dead, man. That means you're probably coming back. Like, yeah. Come on over. Um, so we'll see what happens, but Sam and Dean are, are definitely trying to uh, still deal with the task at hand. The game's not over, you know? It's yeah. not like season 13 ended and the boys get to go like, ah, oh, welcome reprieve. Like, let's, finally, Cass yeah, Finally, died. yeah. <laughs> uh, they say that, but, but then mom's gone also. So it sounds like we're picking up time-wise, like, relatively soon. Split second. Yeah, split second. So you guys, like, put on the same outfits and everything? Well, we, they put the same outfits in our, our closets. Um. <laughs> Some of us couldn't fit into them because of the hiatus. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This, you, you, you stretching your sides? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Your neck hurts a lot these days. Um, yeah, so we, uh, yes, yes, we are. We are yeah. So direct pickup. We're picking up. One of the benefits, I guess, of having a network that believes in us and says, like, hey, guys, this isn't your last episode, so you don't have to, like, do a faux wrap-up of all your stories just in case you don't get picked up. Um, they give the writers a, a lot of a lot of heads-up and warning, which makes the show better, in my opinion, because sure. it's a saga. Um, so if you tell the writers, like, hey, we don't know yet if you're going to go back or not, then they're forced to kind of, like, abruptly end all these storylines as opposed to going like, oh, well, crap, we have 23 more episodes next year, so we let's... draw it out as much as possible. Yeah. Put lots of filler in. Yeah, just lots of dead space. Yeah. yeah, we better keep Cass around or whatever. <laughs> um, yeah, so so we're picking up where we left off. I want to know, Scooby-Doo episode, mm-hmm. what were your reactions when they... Did they just bring this guy to you, like, to you and be like, hey, we're doing this, you're animated? Kind of, yeah. Yeah, they, they called us up, kind of pitched it to us and said what do you guys think this is something that, that we want to try and I, my initial reaction was like okay they want to do a scooby-doo-esque sure. episode <laughs> and yeah. yeah like you know something kind of based on that scenario uh and it wasn't until much later that i realized that no no we were actually doing a legitimate scooby-doo, scooby-doo. episode with that cast and and all that that come with it and uh that was i, I mean we, we've all grown up uh, the three of us I know. Some there's somebody in there that certainly didn't grow up because he was born in the '90s on his shirt. Um, but Scooby Doo has always been around. I think it's it's a lot of people. Uh, you know, it's it's certainly a um, part of people's lives uh, and childhoods. So for us, I was super excited, uh, and I think all of us uh, when we found out that it was a legitimate Scooby Doo episode that they were actually going to be doing animation and that our characters would be animated next to. Fred and, and Scooby and Sha- like that's just it's very cool it's exciting the three of us went in and did the voiceover work uh, that we've already pre-recorded February? I think it was in February yeah, yeah. Um, there I mean there was like this energy like the three of us were all in the booth together oh yeah like palpable and, excitement and we like <laughs> yeah. literally were like buzzing yeah. and um, that's something that's that's pretty cool to be able to say when you've been on a show for 12 years that there's the writers are still throwing curveballs that get us super excited and I it, kudos to the to the people that run our show. And what a cool like who gets to do that? Yeah. You know, other than the live action movies that had some CGI with them, like when's the last time a proper Scooby episode has been made? I, I should, probably should have looked this up. That's a legit question. It's been decades. You know? But we really should know that. We really <laughs> should know that. Yeah. Yeah. No, they might still be making yeah. it. It might actually yeah. still we've, be on. We've been is... working. We assumed you looked it up. <laughs> um, um, yeah. yeah, I mean, I think nobody has ever done, I mean, as far as I know, no like television, live, live action, live TV action show drama has, has ever co-opted uh, an animated show mm-hmm. and aired it within the one-hour segment. It's pretty 
Well, it's yeah, funny because the genre they, our network is really known for crossovers. not known, for, but they're they're certainly becoming known for uh, a lot of crossovers. You know, we've got uh, Legends crossing over with Arrow, with the Flash, with Supergirl. Like, there's it's just it's super incestual over at CW, <laughs> um, and so you know they've all they've often talked about Supernatural crossing over into something. Sure. I love that it's Scooby Doo. It's like. We're going to animate Such it. Such a random choice, <laughs> and I love it. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you, guys, Thanks. for stopping by. Thank you. Yeah. Everybody else, stay tuned. Best for all your Sam ever. <laughs> I agree. I agree. I agree. <laughs>